Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kairos Time and it is time to brawl and we got my good friend here, Jigsaw, on the line. How are you doing today, man? Uh, I'm doing really good. Thank you for having me back on the channel. Yeah, you're very welcome. It has been a long time since I did one of these pro interview videos, guys, but we're bringing it back here. We've took a little bit of break, you know, once Global happened to, to get some things figured out, but we are ready to jump into the details and talk about Brock. Now, before we get into Brock, though, uh, a couple quick questions for you, Jigsaw. What's your personal best on the ladder? Oh, uh, it's 907 right now. Oh, for Brock, I was like, I was like 907. Oh, that's not very best. many trophies. Uh, I think 17.3k. 17.3k. Okay. Boom. 17.3k. If you guys are anywhere close to that, then uh, then you've got bragging rights. Um, but now you're at, you're currently at Brock around like 900 trophies. There's still a few days left in the season. You're number one Brock. How does it feel, man? It feels pretty good. <laughs> good stuff. Okay, so we're gonna jump into this and talk quickly. Talk about all the modes. So. You and I, we were having a conversation a little bit earlier. Basically, you can play Brock everywhere, right? I agree, absolutely. Now, are there specific maps that you would not play Brock, or is he literally, like, so good right now that you could play him on every single map? Like, maps where there's a lot of walls and you see throwers be dominant, I wouldn't play him there. Okay. Now, would you say that throwers are a counter to him? Mm, early game, yes, but when you get your super, then definitely not. Yeah, you open that up there, and then they... They tend to struggle. Okay, yeah. so you just to clarify, you would play him on gem grab. You would play solo and duo showdown. You would play heist, brawl ball, bounty, and siege with Brock. Absolutely. Okay, so then the question is, where did you primarily push Brock this uh, this season? I mostly pushed on siege just because it takes so long to find a game. Ooh, that's actually a really good point. Um, I hadn't thought about that. I'm, I'm not one that pushes up to 17k like you do. Um, but but the, the matchmaking is so long and you gain so many trophies that Siege is actually like the best place for you to push. How long is your matchmaking? <laughs> the worst, like I've tried to do Showdown, it gets up to 20 minutes, so... 20 minutes of matchmaking? Yeah, it's really bad. Whoa! But it's like, Things have changed like, since I did pro interviews. Holy cow, man. <laughs> yeah, but on like ladder, it's 8 to 10 minutes. 8 to 10 minutes for every single match. Okay. Yeah. And for Siege, how many do you gain if you're like, let's say you're over 800 trophies. How many do you gain if you win? Okay, so 800 is plus 6 and minus 14. Minus 14. <laughs> Everybody else thought they had it rough. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and start off by talking then about like a a, a a tip that you would give to anybody that's wanting to to play Brock. Like obviously we've got a lot of players here that, you know, most people are global players. They've been playing for at least six months. Um, they've probably played with Brock a little bit. What's a what's a tip to help them kind of improve things? We'll save that. We'll separate that a little bit from like All right, a, so yeah. Brock's reload speed isn't very fast. So I wouldn't advise spamming all three shots and then just standing there and you're like, oh, I'm dead now because I can't shoot. Okay. So I would shoot if you know you can hit someone. Okay, so that's a solid tip. How? So what do you typically do? Do you unload one spot willingly, or do you unload two shots willingly? It's usually one shot if like we're far away from each other, and then if it's medium range and I'm feeling good about myself that day, I'll do two or three shots and try and kill them. You're like, I did my and hair then, well, you know, yeah. my, my teeth are clean, like I got my good smelling breath, put my deodorant on. I'm ready to yep. throw out two shots. Yeah, if you're feeling good, then fire away. And then if you're <laughs> close range, then all three yeah. as fast as you can. Okay, so that's a good tip to help somebody get like good with Brock. And then obviously like a lot of Brock is like making sure you're actually like aiming your shots decently. Um, but what is a tip to really help somebody go from good to great with Brock? So with Brock, I would advise if you want to become great from good, I would advise leading your shots. So like if an opponent on the enemy team is trying to accomplish something like get behind a wall or grab a gem you shoot where they want to go so they either have to walk into your shot or they have to not accomplish what they want to do i see what you're saying so you're always so you're actually specifically choosing those spots right next to walls to like aim there so that like it's most likely they're going to go around that wall so you you're aiming at that corner or that wall right there so that they yep. they either get hit by the rocket or they get they have to take a detour. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, okay, I really like that. That's actually a really good tip for a lot of long range long range shooters. So that's really excellent. Okay, let's talk about his regular attack then. Obviously, you know it's long range. You did mention leading his attacks. What is the best way to use his attack? Like, let's specifically talk about long range versus close range. Like, what's uh, what are your thoughts there? Long range. So like, I think you have the second longest range in the game. 
compared to Gene, which is yeah. So I mean, I'd he, say he tickles at a distance. In the game. <laughs> yeah, I would, yeah, yeah. I would so, say Brock has the longest, you know, because Gene just he just laughs at you and tickles you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So if you if you're in long range combat, you definitely want to keep like if they're trying to push you, you just want to keep moving backwards and keep as far distance as you can while still hitting them. Okay. And do you pray? Because I know that a lot of people that are like newer to the game probably feel a lot more comfortable getting close to a brawler than auto aiming. Um, is that something that you ever recommend doing? Like it's situational, but if like in Siege you're trying to grab a bolt, you can do like if you know how many shots it takes to kill a brawler, then you can for sure go up to them and auto aim. Okay. So like if I know it takes three shots to kill somebody, then I'll go okay. and auto aim them. So that's really good. That's really important for obviously for people to obviously like me start memorizing how much damage your your Brock deals and paying attention to those like you know those different types of uh, interactions and stuff with brawlers. Really yeah, important. Sure. Okay, let's talk about his super then. There are a lot of different ways that you can use his super. Um, how? Uh, what are the best ways for him to use his super? My favorite use of the super is to break the walls. And do you do that like no matter what your team comp is, or or are you like? Paying attention to like if your team has like a dynamite or a throw or something like that. Like what? What do you? Uh, how often do like, you break walls? I break walls probably 90% of the time. Okay. I usually want to catch someone walking near them as well, so you can hit them. Would you ever just break a wall just to open it up? And it, it, like if you okay siege, would you do that? So like uh, I'm assuming you're talking about the maps where there's like that wall right in front of the Ike turret, or are you talking about yeah. in the middle? So my first super in siege is usually for the. The one right near the Ike, so my robot can just walk straight to instead of going around. Yeah. And then usually you're playing in the middle with Brock and Siege. So if my teammates are fighting against a throw or something on lane, then I'll throw my super over there. So then the throw has no walls to hide behind. Okay. Do you also break down the walls that are closer to your side of the map, or do you leave those there as cover? It's it doesn't really matter if you break your own walls because you're a long range shooter as well. So the only other person that can match your range is another Brock. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't, I would be fun breaking my own walls. Okay, and do you, what if you had a Barley on your team? Would you still break the walls on your side? So if you're playing, let's say the Barley's in like the left or right lane, yeah. then I would for sure not break his walls. Okay. Then I'd be killing him. Okay, so that's, so you wouldn't break the walls on his side, but let's say he's on the left and you're on the right, would you then break your walls on your side? Oh, absolutely. Okay, okay. Cool. I like that. That's really good. So then, um, and then obviously, I my I, my assumption is also that you're gonna be breaking enemy walls on like um, like brawl ball. Would it be worth it to just like open up that and not attack anybody with a super in that kind of situation? Yeah, for sure. But usually, if you're throwing your super there, there's a teammate or something respawning by their dad, and you'll get some value at least. Now, as far as using their super, do, how often do you manu? How often do you auto aim a Brock super? I don't think I've ever auto aimed a Brock super. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that doesn't happen. If nah, I do that, it's lag. <laughs> um, how about his star power? Let's talk about his star power. It's kind of an interesting one. It doesn't deal a whole lot of damage, but it offers a little bit of control. What are the, what's the best way to use Brock's star power? Do you even think about it? No, I don't think about the star power. Like, when I play against a Brock, I find it really annoying. Yeah. That there's these things on the ground I can't walk past. Yeah. But when I'm playing Brock, I'm... I have no focus on my star power at all. Okay, so you don't actually specifically drop a Brock attack to try, or that, that star power to, like, reveal if somebody's in a bush or anything like that. You just focus on trying to hit the enemy brawler. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think that's probably smart because, you know, that it really hardly does any damage at all. You know, we're talking 480 damage if both ticks actually deal damage, so. Let's talk about um, brawlers that counter Brock. Obviously, Brock has the longest range in the game with the exception of I guess kind of Gene and Piper's like really close. Um, mm -hmm. What what are what are Brock's counters? Who do you be, um, who are you wary of when you're playing him? Like I don't like playing against a BB because she can easily dodge his shots with her speed and then mm. come whack you. Yeah. Um, Rosa's shield is really annoying because she can just walk through your shots. Mm. Um, a Piper can two shot you when you yep. three shot her, so that's not a good matchup for Brock. And that's about it. That's uh, no, that's really good. How about a um, a penny? Let's say you've got a penny's turret on your side, or on their okay. side. Before balance changes, let like with the penny question whole thing with the yeah. stop power, I'd be absolutely fine playing against a penny because cool. my lit, my range is longer at super turret. But now, once her turret explodes, it basically kills you. So. <laughs> 
That's safe. You have to just walk in a straight to line to avoid that yeah. now. <laughs> so that's fair. And my guess is that they're going to change that sometime soon. I mean, it's oh, I it's so. clearly a mistake. Like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe they're going to leave it there. Maybe they did it on purpose. I don't know. But it's like... Oh, yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. No, I like that. So what do you do specifically to counter other Brocks and other Pipers then? Move backwards when you shoot. So, okay. like, if somebody's... Like, if you're fighting somebody and you shoot and move backwards, they won't be able to hit you unless they walk into your shot. So that's a free yeah. hit for you. But if you move like if you're staying in the same spot then you guys can trade blows but if you shoot and back up right away your shot will still go full distance but you get out of their range and that actually does bring in an, another interesting question in here as far as this like dodging like just moving is there are there any tips that you have to players just in general as far as like making trying to avoid as many hips as possible yeah so you want to move unpredictably like sometimes i'll just keep walking in the same direction for like like four or five seconds and then cut back instantly and then other times i'll keep zigzagging back and forth you just want to keep changing it up so your opponents won't be able to guess where you're going next um and which brawlers does brock act as like a good natural counter against any brawler he can three shot which means under 4200 health so like brock another brock a colt. spike colt barley crow penny Genie's pretty decent against anybody under that 4200 range. So let's say you jump into a match. Are there any brawlers specific? Let's say you're playing Gem Grab or you're playing Siege or whatever. Are there any brawlers that like you log in, you see they're playing X brawler, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna focus on playing against that brawler. Are there any brawlers like that? Yeah, I think a spike and a brawler. Okay. Depending, like map dependent, definitely spike and brawler. So let's say, let's let's flip it around a little bit. Let's say you are playing those brawlers against Brock. What are your tips that you have? Those low HP brawlers that he can obviously outrange. If you see Brock use too many ammo, or like mm. he's not aiming consistently, then try and use the walls to your advantage and sneak up on him and then get close to him and try and burst him down. Paying attention to how much and ammo the enemy is expending. That's really important when you're facing against Brock or Piper. I like that. Solid tips, man. You're just Thanks. you're just shooting these off without even thinking about it, and I I have to think about it. You know, it's 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 good. It's good. <laughs> what other tips do you have for Brock then? The big thing I would advise is stay out of the grass because that's where tanks will be and people can do, who can deal high burst damage will also be. So if you're in the grass and you run into somebody, you're likely dead. One question that I have is, what about like facing off against an enemy Leon? Because um, I feel like Leon or those fast moving brawlers. They're they're kind of difficult to face off as, as Brock because Brock he, it's pretty it's pretty easy to dodge Brock shots you know what I mean. Um, what about those fast moving brawlers Leon Crow Mortis um, or BB? Well, they they typically have low health as well, so in that situation I'd get close to them and try and auto aim them down. Like if it's a Mortis okay. and he's trying to come close to you, I would let him come close to me and then just try and fire three auto aim shots into him. Which. For Brock versus Mortis, you would need at least one more rocket. If I yeah, you need correct. four. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you need four. So then hopefully you reload more shots than he's able to, than he's, because Brock has a faster reload speed than you. Yeah, well, you just hope, like, the Mortis will have to use dashes to get towards you. Yeah. Meaning you'll have more ammo than he does Okay. when you guys start engaging. You're playing Brock. You're, you're facing off against somebody that you know is an excellent BB. How do you handle that situation? What do you do? Other than cry in the corner. Yeah, I say to my teammates... <laughs> please kill her, and then if they don't, yeah, I just say, please take the BB. Yeah. But if I have to take a BB in her lane, I'd try and use my super to force it backwards, and then just use my range and predict where she's going to move. If she doesn't have her star power, then it's an okay mashup, but if she has her star power, then... Stick a fork in me! I'm done! Oh, wait, that's the wrong brawler. <laughs> uh, are there any other tips that you have for Rock before we end the video, man? Don't team and show down. <laughs> that, is the, that is the tip, guys! That is the tip! <laughs> Don't do it! Yep. That's how you become good at Brock. You don't team and showdown. <laughs> okay. Actually, I do have another quick question for you. Because um, you are one... A lot of top players don't actually play all brawlers in showdown as well. They just stick to like the 3v3 modes. But you do play showdown as well, right? I play showdown usually for fun. Yeah. But I did end up playing one or two games with my Brock was over 900 trophies this season. <laughs> just to see what it'd be like. Yeah, how was that? Um, It's really scary. Because you're like... <laughs> If I come second place, I'm getting one trophy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. People don't want to team with the Brock either. 
No, because you can backstab people pretty easily. It's so Brock. easy. Yeah, you get close and quick two or three quick shots and they're gone. Would you play Brock on like Feast or Famine? No. No. Yeah, I didn't think you would. Because then, I... yeah, you're gonna have to walk in the middle at the end. <laughs> then it's. Bye bye, Brock. <laughs> okay, yep. cool, man. Hey, well, I really appreciate you coming on here uh, and sharing some of your OP Brock tips with people. Um, do you have any shout outs you wanted to give to people before we end the video? Yeah, first of all, I just want to shout out OG, who I personally think is the best Brock in the world. Dude, he's awesome. He gave some Brock I'd tips like on the video think, as well. Yeah. I'd like to think I'm the best, but he definitely is. <laughs> You're like, I pretend I'm the best, but yeah. we, all know, we all know that OG is the, the king at Brock. Yeah, makes me feel good. Um, I beat him once in a in a, a bounty match, and I was playing Brock, and he was playing Brock. I felt pretty happy. I I like to think that I wasn't getting carried by my teammates, but <laughs> <laughs> he beat. To, mind you, it was like a two hour long push, and he beat me like five other times in that time frame. Um, and shout out to Bobby Osiren, Patchy Pirate, and Scott Walker helping me push. Awesome. Hey, well, thank you very much. Really do appreciate your support. Um, you're on Twitter, right? I am. Okay, I'll drop his Twitter in the comments or in the section below, guys. Make sure you go check go check him out, especially if you're interested in following the pro scene. He just recently con uh, competed in DreamHack. Um, his team uh, actually they only lost to the team that actually won, so they kind of crushed it. They crushed it. And uh, for now, guys, this is Jigsaw and Kairos. I'm ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.